Only Mercedes sells a diesel-powered plug-in hybrid powertrain, and only the E-Class offers it in the full executive segment, in the form of this E300 DE EQ power model. You might have an aversion to diesel engines and or plug-in hybrid power, but if you haven't, and you're browsing in this segment for an efficient, prestigious saloon or estate premium brand model, it's hard to escape the conclusion that this one offers something really rather interesting. Why would you develop a powertrain that partly uses electric power and then hobble it with a thirsty petrol engine whenever the battery energy runs out? That's just what virtually every plug-in hybrid model on the market does. Almost all brands linking battery power to a petrol combustion engine. Only Mercedes also offers customers an alternative, PHEV models with diesel power. As an environmental solution, you might consider this to be either a contradiction in terms or a rather clever idea, depending on which side of the current global warming zeitgeist you happen to sit. If you consider it to be a clever idea and you are browsing in the full-sized executive segment for a premium badge saloon or a state of this type, then you'll want to consider this model, the Mercedes E300 DE EQ Power. The first thing that will probably strike you about an E300 DE EQ power is how refined it is. Actually, there's virtually no sound at all from start off because uh, providing there's sufficient charge in the 13.5 kilowatt hour battery, initial forward motion will always be battery powered. And providing the lithium ion cells are fully charged up, it'll stay that way for between 31 to 34 miles, depending on the body style you choose. But it's when the battery charge runs out that the advantages of this model's rather unique diesel installation start to shine through. Every other non-Mercedes plug-in hybrid model on the market reverts to a thirsty petrol engine at this point, tasked with lugging around a substantial PHEV powertrain. And it is substantial. This Merc tips the scales at around 1.9 tonnes as a result. In this case, though, the combustion power is metered out by a far more frugal 2-litre diesel with 194 horsepower and 400 newton metres of torque, and that's borrowed from the ordinary E220D. When you combine this with an electric motor generating 122 horsepower and 440 newton metres of torque, the result is not only more frugal economy, but a far more impressive slug of pulling power than a petrol PHEV could ever manage. This E300DE makes 62 from rest in just 5.9 seconds. There are no outward giveaways as to this model's plug-in status, unless you happen to notice the badging or the extra filler flap. It's part of a W213 series E-Class saloon and estate range that's recently been significantly updated. The swept back power domed bonnet flows down into a grill that's been turned upside down. It's now wider at the bottom than at the top. And a bit disappointingly, it's now no longer possible to have it with an upstanding bonnet ornament. In profile, this remains a stylish piece of design. The powerfully extended silhouette is characterized by short overhangs, a long wheelbase, large wheels, and taut, well-defined flanks. The alternative estate version adds 10 millimeters of length. At the rear, this saloon body shape gains much wider, now horizontally orientated LED tail lamps, which now get segmented by this restyled boot lid, and that sits above this revised bumper. Now inside, the main change with this revised version of the W213 series model, apart from a revised steering wheel, is the adoption of the brand's MBUX operating system for its so-called widescreen cockpit dash design. This is now an intuitive setup with artificial intelligence capabilities, which are able to predict what the user would like to do next. It uses two 12.3 inch displays, one for the instrument cluster and one for the central MBUX infotainment screen, and they're blended beneath a shared glass cover. As always with an E-Class, everything does, of course, all feel suitably premium, with leather upholstery and heated front seats being standard fit on all variants. There's also a lovely 64-colour ambient lighting system with LED strips along the bottom of the fascia, on the door cards, and along the side of the centre console, which gives the cabin a really special feel after dark. 
in the rear passenger space is generous. If the front seat passengers have their seats at the lowest setting, you might find room for your feet slightly limited, but otherwise the rear footwells are big and broad. There is an issue with boot space though, which falls substantially over what you get from uh, an ordinary combustion model. Uh, that's thanks to the need to house the PHEV system battery underneath the floor here. Now this saloon model's trunk space falls from 540 litres to just 370 litres. That's less than you get in a Golf, although you can fold forward the 40-20-40 split rear backrest to extend it. The estate model's usual 640 litres, that falls to 480 litres, uh, and it's 1660 litres with the seats folded. The E300 DE EQ Power is available in both saloon and estate body styles, and prices at the time of our test in summer 2021 started at around £47,500, which represented a £1,250 premium over the alternative E300 E EQ Power petrol plug-in model, although that's only offered as a saloon. There are four trim levels available, AMG Line Edition, AMG Line, AMG Line Premium, and AMG Line Premium Plus. With the E300 DE, there's a £2,000 premium to pay if you want the estate body shape. Across the range, the standard specification is as complete as you'd have a right to expect for the prices being asked. All models feature LED headlamps and tail lamps, power folding mirrors, auto headlamps and wipers, and alloy wheels of at least 17 inches in size, plus selective damping you can control via the Dynamic Select driving mode system. Inside, the key change with this revised version of the W213 Series E-Class is the standardisation of the brand's widescreen cockpit with its twin 12.3-inch screens, one for the instrument binnacle and one for the MBUX centre dash monitor. Other standard features include Parktronic parking sensors with a reversing camera and an active parking assist auto parking system. There's also leather upholstery with heated front seats, a lovely 64 colour selectable LED interior lighting system, two zone automatic climate control, wireless charging mat and a three spoke multifunction steering wheel with dual touch pads. The E300 DE EQ Power is capable of achieving a weighted WLTP combined average of 235.4 mpg and it emits just 33 grams per kilometre of CO2 or up to 217.3 mpg and 35 grams per kilometre as an estate. For reference, the figures for the E300 E EQ Power saloon petrol model are up to 166.2 miles per gallon and up to 37 grams per kilometre. Both PHEV variants have an all-electric range in the 31 to 34 mile bracket. This Mercedes can be charged via a 7.4 kilowatt home wall box in just 1.8 hours. And otherwise, well, the E-Class model line is designed for the long haul. There's plenty of proof of that. Greek taxi driver Gregorius Sachinidis clocked up 2.9 million miles on his 1976 240D. And although build quality did take a bit of a dip between 95 and 2003, it's now better than ever with this current W213 series version. This car will easily outlast you, and that's one reason why the all-important residual values have traditionally been strong with diesel and lower-order petrol engines. Unless you do something really silly like specify an overly bright colour scheme, you can expect to get over 60% of your initial purchase price back after three years. Insurance for the E300 D EQ Power is rated up at Group 46E. Another thing that we need to tell you is that the comprehensive three-year unlimited mileage warranty is built on by Mercedes Mobilo scheme and that delivers breakdown cover for up to 30 years as long as you continue to have your car serviced at a Mercedes main dealer that is. And it's also worth knowing uh, that your maintenance outlay can be kept a little in check by going for the optional service care package. Now you'll be offered that at uh, initial purchase. It takes care of routine maintenance and spreads the cost of regular servicing, guaranteeing the price of parts and labour for up to four services. And it covers the cost of all recommended service items. So things like brake fluid, uh, spark plugs, air filters, fuel filters and screen wash.
There are two ways of looking at this car. If you think diesel engines are amongst this planet's greatest evils and you dismiss plug-in hybrids as fake electric cars, then you'll dismiss the concept of combining the two things as an awful idea. We see it rather differently. An E300 DE EQ power model, in our view, unlocks the potential of both power sources. Its powertrain ensures that the battery drive system's efficiency efforts aren't immediately undone by a thirsty petrol engine when the all-electric drive runs out. It's estimated that a large proportion of PHEV drivers hardly ever bother to regularly plug their cars in. Here, though, even those lazy owners can enjoy frugal motoring with the potential for much more.